happened with... Hello! Hi. Hi. Welcome to Portland Place of Things. This is Amanda. This is Kat. And today... Uh, you wrote a thing. Yeah, I wrote a thing. We're, we're all... We're, it's just, just the two of us. Our clones didn't quite work out. No, what'd you say? Too much baking soda? Too much baking soda. Just at least they're compostable. Compostable? Compo Com compostable. Postable. So that's something. So, um, so <clears throat> it's a little bittersweet today. I guess I'm over here. Hi. Uh, so we, My hair. you guys have seen and heard a bit of Dave here and there. Laughing in the background. <laughs> really just having a great time. Um, Dave is leaving us this month, and so we thought it would be very fitting to mm -hmm. give him a send-off and give him his own episode. Um, we first met Dave through Marie yeah. and Ross. I don't remember exactly what was happening. I think we were actually filming the show and he wandered in. Oh, that's fair. Sometimes that happens here at Open Signal. Mm -hmm. People just wander in. And yeah, we, get, we hand him a camera. We start our show. By all means. And then we're live. Yeah. <laughs> so On cable channel 22. 22. So uh, he, he really first helped us out a whole bunch during uh, Portland Place Morning. Uh, the yeah. ra rave reviews. Yeah. Uh, Dave cr critics nuts for it. Dave gave mainly the rave reviews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and, you know, he's, he's been working on our show for over a year. Mm -hmm. that, that was a long time ago. Um, and so now we're here to celebrate him. So to give you kind of a little taste mm. of what he's been doing. Just a nibble. Just a bit of the past. And to catch you up to speed before we ask him some questions, we're going to play you a little video. So cue up the video. So let's do it. Let's get to know Dave. What's he about? What's he all about? Who is he? What does he look like? Where does he come from? Where did he go? It's, it's the <laughs> Dave MP4, correct? Yep. It's the Dave MP4. Those are the, we got it. We're gonna, we're gonna play this. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, it's a, uh, okay, that's okay. So, good. See, you guys, this stuff is hard. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank we're you, having, everybody. We're fun. So, everyone, please welcome Dave. I hope you're clapping at home or, or wherever you are. Uh, hey, everybody. Um, we have a, a chat open, so you can send in your questions. On, on Twitch. On Twitch, you can call in at 503-288-4442. With all of your questions for Dave, we're going to get the number up on the screen. There it is. Wow. Look how beautiful. We, we actually have a caller if you want to. <gasps> we will. Hi, my name is Dave Mosier. I, I live in Portland and I'm a, I'm a video artist. I, I, I like to travel by train and I, I'm, I'm very clever. I'm actually a UFO. I actually travel in the hills of Washington. I trim a lot of dro. I wear an X-Files hat. And what do I know? I've been cyber squat and I pay the price. Digital Masons always find it right. I'm sorry you think you're alive, man. CIA tonight. I'm sorry you gave me the mic and now it's good alive. You think Dave's an alien. I'm the one who's driving with all these things. Oh, what are you, the mic, man? Take the blinky lights on the green sides and oh, take your brains and sight and you think you would like. I'm sorry, this is right. And like twice struck lightning, sand turns the glass all of us in sight and I was like, brains <laughs> threw down the mic. And, Hi, my name's Dave Mosier. Are you in mic? Uh, I didn't know, I didn't catch that last line, but I knew it was a question. I'm going to say yes. Dave, what do you have to say? Well, you know, I always expected maybe we are all fourth dimensional creatures. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> time, space is not continuous. So that's totally pro probable that that's actually me calling. Oh, okay. Yo, it's like a vocal mirror. You know, like look into a mirror with... We, we as a society haven't really processed a look at ourselves, right? If you were really just to look at ourselves, we have eyeballs on our fingertips. They say, know it like the back of your hand. You're always looking at the back of your hand. Mirrors were like for the rich, and now they're everywhere in your phones, and everyone's you know, looking at the back of the hand. They're looking at the black mirror. Is there really, a question? You listen to this vocal voice. Listen to your own mirror. I'm wondering if you, 
I'm wondering, Dave, if you have a question for your other dimension. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Let's find out the differences. No, there's no difference between three viewers and three million. So there, there's no difference between your dimension and your being Dave and Dave's dimensional Dave? How does everything look from where you're at? Does it look good? <laughs> or does it, does it look fucked up? <laughs> Is Trump still president where you are? Don't you know? Is it Berenstein or Berenstain? <laughs> <laughs> Is it? Portland still has sunset a lot. Uh, it's still the same place it was in the 80s. Okay, serious question. In your dimension, did Kurt Russell see the Phoenix Lights? Did he call it in and report it? Kurt Russell from Escape from New York, Escape from LA. Did he see the Phoenix Lights and call in the report? From where you are. John Carpenter threw his tacky on. Help me, man, this is tacky on. What? They're harder. You heard it here first, yeah. folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what I heard, but I did hear it. Thank you, yeah. caller. Thanks. So, Thanks, caller. Thank you so much for calling in, Dave. Uh, call in more with, with uh, whatever great. questions. 503-288-4442. Uh, I have uh, my, my first question for you, Dave. Uh, uh, where did you come from? In this dimension? Yeah, yeah, yeah in this yeah, dimension. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I actually came from a different dimension called the Berenstein Bears dimension. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Everything is similar except for the <laughs> spelling of Berenstein Bears. Everything else is the same. Yeah, literally just a few letters. <laughs> so where in this dimension did you grow up? Uh, Yakima, Washington. Shout out to Shout Eastern out. Washington. Yeah, Eastern Washington, born and raised. <laughs> Anybody out there in Eastern Washington, please call now. I like how you're please yelling. Please call. Yeah, you're just yelling. <laughs> yelling. Can they hear me okay? Yeah, I'm yeah. sure everybody can hear you just fine. <laughs> oh, I love you. Okay. Uh, do you have a question for him? Oh, sure. I, I got... Sure do. <laughs> sure do. Um, what originally piqued your interest in video art? Because that's what you make, the beautiful background. Oh, wow. And the video that we played, that's your artwork. Yeah. Oh, Tell us wow. about your artwork. That is a really interesting question. Uh, let's see. At the time, I was studying at Western Washington Univer University in Bellingham, Washington. What, what? Washington. We were doing <laughs> performance-based <laughs> photography. Okay. And in order to document that work, uh, it's common to use video. Mm -hmm. I also uh, started doing some land and environmental work uh, out in different landscapes. And that was a way that those artists documented their work. So I kind of got sucked in that way. So you do, so explain to us how you but go You see how crazy the video signal looks? Yeah, how yeah, yeah. how do you do that? So that's through circuit bent equipment. What does that mean? It's the equipment uh, was made in the 80s or 90s. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, uh, Radio Shack put so it out. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Much. <laughs> Man, you guys want to get me crying. <laughs> That's a good way to start. You and Tony should have a fight about Radio Shack. Why is Tony hate Radio Shack? They work we can have oh, a funeral for Radio Shack sometime. <laughs> anyway, uh, there's this uh, electronic wizard and uh, um, sorceress team based out of Florida called Tachyons Plus. Mm -hmm. And I discovered them online, and they have, uh, for years, created a whole community of people who are enthusiastic about uh, circuit bending these particular Radio Shack devices. So they physically they, bend they the They do the it, okay. and they sell them themselves, huh. and then they, uh, in my case, enabled me to learn how to do it myself. Wow. And, uh... I was even able to go to a residency in New York where I go for my residency program 
at Signal Culture, and I was able to track down the guy who designed these uh, units built by Radio Shack in the 80s, Paul Schreiber. So I just want to do a shout out to Schreiber, if he's watching. Hey, hey, hey. Schreiber? Don't you, don't, you probably have more important things to do. He's like our grandpa. Aww. In a way, because he invented the equipment. Aww. So yeah, thanks Shout for asking. Schreiber. Thanks for asking about that stuff. I yeah, really we want to know. That's we want to know all point. about you, Dave. I appreciate before it. Before we lose you to Buffalo. Because it's just a bunch of rusty yeah. junk to most people. They don't. They just throw it in the landfill. <laughs> get you crying again. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna get, get you, you crying. crying. All right. Well, now that we know a little bit more about Dave, let's get some calls. Get, get some chats, get in that Twitch, baby! There's two viewers. Two viewers, talk to us. Talk you to know us. you want to know Two's better more. than nothing. You, want, you know you want to know more one of about me. Dave. Ooh. We're going to keep talking okay. about him and asking him questions and stuff, but we need to make sure that you know that you can call in. Uh, if you know him, come talk about him, you know. Yeah. Um, um, wait, did we, we have a musical guest. Maybe. Oh, yeah, too. we yeah. haven't even expressed that at all. That's true. Uh, Which you'll hear later on in the episode in like two minutes. Uh, let's see. I wanted to ask, um, so far, Dave, what is the most fulfilling project you've worked on? Oh, boy. You know, I really enjoyed this one we did at Pioneer Courthouse Square, uh, the house guest residency. It was like March or something over a year ago. And what was great about that was uh, anybody from the community could come down and get in the back of the VR truck and try it out. And I feel uh. stuff like that really enables people to uh, ex experience their reality in a new way, maybe. Uh, we also 3D scanned anybody who wanted to come down and get 3D scanned. That's so So magical. I really like stuff like that because um, it creates you know, maybe it inspires somebody. Yeah. Uh, it's a unique experience mm -hmm. that not everybody gets yeah. or even thinks about. No, not at all. We didn't think about any 3D scanning anything until we met Dave. And I just barely figured out what he was talking about. When, uh, it's a, it's a, a, a magical and um, mystifying area to me, like 3D scans and stuff. We're going to be showing a little bit of that later. <laughs> we're going to be getting it. Figure we're figuring it. out the uh, hello the thing. Um, but we're going to actually be doing some 3D scans with some people, right? Yeah, who's out there? After? Who's listening? Yeah. Maybe we had an encounter once. Maybe I 3D scanned you before. <laughs> uh, How about you call in and tell <laughs> us about it? What was that experience <laughs> like for you? What's that number you ask? It's 503-288-4442. Call on up. We were Dave's da the other David is waiting on the line. That's right. We, we got have two. Two Daves. Two Daves. Suck it. Give us a little Everybody call. Everybody else. <laughs> ring a ding ding. Um and before we get into the musical guest, uh Dave has like just slammed into my life, became a roommate and uh, just, I, I gotta be honest, I feel more magical uh, with Dave around. Wow. Oh. There's a lot of love going on. <laughs> this whole episode about you, Dave. <laughs> what's what's you a lot of love. It's gonna be nothing but love. A lot of love on this stage right now. <laughs> uh, R.I.P. Radio Shack. Does anybody else feel <laughs> it? Does anyone else feel that impassioned that I'm leaving this town? For anybody? A, long a single time? person? Anyone? anyone? Call in. Give us a call. 503 288. Four, 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 two, now. But hold that call because yeah. we have a special musical guest. Yes, oh, we wow. do. That I met through Dave. Dave. His name is Dustin. Dustin Asbury, right? Yep, the T is silent, so you can suck on it. Suck that <laughs> All right, so uh, now that we're at the point when it's time for him to play, let's give it up for Dustin. Dustin. Woo! Woo! Nobody can hear you. Is it on? 
Tired now. Yeah. Here, you can have a nap. That's all good. Are we doing music or is it just me? Time, baby. <laughs> Probably just the singer in the back. For at no, move them, move them. <laughs> move them. We're public access, baby. I have baby everywhere. <laughs> I'm just babying today. Scoot over. Okay. Oh, welcome. <laughs> yeah, oh. try the reset button on the bottom. Uh, welcome back, everybody. Hi. Uh, you can see this huge palm tree that we have here. Uh, this is 
We're going to show you a live 3D scan of this tree. We're going to yeah, show you what Dave batteries. does. You can just set him down. Call yeah. in if you want something special 3D that's in the studio. We'll 3D image it. Let's 3D scan Michael Green because this is an exciting experience. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a chair or stand? No, I or? think he's just going to stand in a pose maybe. What just do you like, think, Michael? Like take a knee? Maybe in the center of the light. Welcome, right Michael. Hello. That's Hi. great. <laughs> Michael's here to get 3D really exciting. printed. Michael, you want to be in a comfortable pose that you can hold for a couple minutes here. Can I get Furby to it? Yeah, you want to hold him. That's hold. great. Furby, yeah. it's very important. Yeah. Um, so. Oh, Toto. Oh. Let's see. Let's see if I can fix him real quick. Uh, <laughs> hey guys, uh, it's, it's really uh, exciting. All right, so here we go. You want to hold him in a comfortable position that you can do the Furby hold for multiple minutes for. And then we're just going to go right into the scan here. Okay. All right. What are you doing exactly? So this is an interesting device uh, called an occipital structure sensor. Uh, what it is doing is it's combining a third-party infrared camera with a secondary camera and the iPad's built-in camera to create stereoscopic photorealistic texture layer over a 3D mesh that it's creating with the infrared. And so uh, it's doing all that in real time. Wow. By capturing uh, tens of thousands of polygons of data here. Uh, <laughs> it's also using the built-in proximity and positioning of the iPad. And then it's processing all of those different data points together in the cloud using an SDK, which is uh, free if you get the scanner. So. Uh, we were lucky enough to get the scanner donated uh, thanks to a late night wine meeting that uh, Amber Case had with the people that started this startup. <coughs> and um, it's been really great having this thing. This is so, I'm just in, I'm like silence and awe because I'm like, it just looks like it's made out of marshmallow fluff. Yeah, it, it looks globby. And that's why I think, um, you know, maybe this thing is never really going to take off in the way they had planned, but I like to use it in more like a real time data collecting device for uh, real time video processing, also for VR, web VR, and uh, perhaps augmented reality. Uh, what's great is it gives you this file you can download um, pretty much instantaneously to your email. And then once you have that, you can throw it uh, into a 3D modeling program. But I kind of avoid those things altogether and uh, just use sketchfab.com, which is where I have all my 3D model galleries. Uh, if you go to sketchfab.com slash davideotape, all one word, D-A-V-I-D-E-O-T-A-P-E. -E. You'll find my 3D model galleries. <coughs> if you do and another slash and type collections, you'll see all the galleries there. And it's something that like anybody can, it's oh, free to use for, oh yep. no! So, ah. so we lost it there. But uh, That's all right. as you can see, it can process all the data in real Thank time. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, <laughs> Michael. Uh, yeah. Round of applause. So, uh, yeah, so give it up for Michael. Furby. Furby. Excellent Let's job, Michael. Those. So that was cool. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I'll show you what one of those models looks like here. Let me get that loaded up. Maybe yeah. somebody out there has been scanned Ooh. before. Maybe, Maybe you were thinking about calling Ooh. in. We got Ooh. any ring a dings? Ooh. What's that number again, it. Cat? It is 503-288-4442. We got Jonathan on the line. Ooh, hey, Jonathan. Jonathan. All right. How's it going, Jonathan? Jonathan, welcome to the show. Thank you. you. Yeah. I'm just, I'm hanging out in Tualatin. Okay. It's pretty good. What, <laughs> you see any uh, weird sightings out there? Ooh. 
Seeing any weird lights in the sky out there? You know, a little of this, a little of that. A little of this, a little of that. Uh, okay. Do you have any questions for Dave, Jonathan? Yes. Um, I want to know if Dave would rather travel with an alien across time for 100 years mm -hmm. or travel with a ghost backwards through time for 10 years. And why? Sophie's choice here. Yeah. Whoa, that is an intense question if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Let's look at some pros and cons. Uh, well, if you go back in time, perhaps you could send little notes to yourself. Hey, mm -hmm. dumbass, maybe you shouldn't do this or that. <laughs> maybe <laughs> people have that power and maybe that's how we have Trump in charge right now. But maybe. are you going to believe the notes though? I don't know. Yeah. I do believe in Tesla technology that can send <laughs> you back in time. I do believe that. Now, going forward 100 years in the future, then you would see all these things that are going to happen. And then you could be a maniacal genius and maybe reverse engineer those technologies, capitalize on those for yourself. Well, would you be brought back, though? Would you travel through time and then come back? Or is it just traveling through time and then you Good die? Good question. Caller, <laughs> um, do I get no, to come back die, or am I stuck there where if, I go? If you're with an alien, where do you go? Yeah, maybe. Are their intentions good or evil? Um, I just, I just want to know... Basically, if you want to see the past of the world or the future of other planets. Future of other planets. Yeah. Let's get off of this rock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go up in the ship. Anybody else feel like they're in the same boat? Give us a call. <laughs> Just call in. Just give us a little ringy dingy. Are you ready to go up in the ship right now? Or would you go back in time and <laughs> Jonathan, fix you some pose? stuff? That was a very beautiful up. question. Uh, that number again is 503-288-4442. Um, so these are some things. So here's a good example of one of the scans I did at my most recent residency program that was at Leland Ironworks. Maybe we can cut to the is shot on the screen. Is that just a stump? What yeah, so this is like a, actually a sculpture kind of set out in the landscape. It's just very minimalist. It's just like a round uh, metal formed canister that's filled with water and then it has plants growing in it. So people could like use this in a VR game that they were making as a Maybe. backdrop thing. Yeah, what I'm doing is I was trying to document the landscape and these uh, this this uh, sculptor's work out in the landscape and what okay. that looked like, so people could see it there for posterity. Yeah, normally you have to get special permission to go to this place. Mm. Uh, Dustin got to go there, Ooh. and <laughs> what's Dustin. really interesting Dustin. about this picture that we're seeing here is those stones look like they are just regular stones, right? Yeah. No. Dustin, what happens when you walk out of? Is what, what happens? There's what? Stuff down there. They're hollow? They're hollow? Yeah, underneath. There's something going on. This guy really messes with you. He, some of the work is so subtle you don't notice it. So and then you're walking on it, and you're like, why is it hollow? What's under there? Like it's, What's it's down empty there? underneath it? Yeah, you feel... Like a stone is on you top of the hole. You know how you can feel when something's hollow underneath? Yeah. When you walk on that path, you feel there's it's hollow under there. Huh. Interesting. It must be where the elves live. Sure. Maybe fairies. the mechanical yeah, ones? Fairies. I don't know. Gnomes? That's a solid gnome hole. Uh, but I really enjoyed 3D scanning this place. I got uh, over 200 scans. And I scanned a lot of ferns and sculptures. And I got attacked by a rooster. 
<laughs> you found a bunny too. I did. I shot lots of video of bunnies like rolling around doing cute things. <laughs> Do you have a new caller online? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh. Hail Satan. What a blessing. <laughs> Are you on a break? Are you, I'm sorry? Are you on a break from work right now? Yeah, I am. Uh, I'm on a break, yes. Oh, you're I'm calling in from on your the break. bathroom. Thanks for calling in, Coco. That is great. Do you have anything you'd like to say about Dave or questions for Dave or? Coco, what was it like when you got 3D scanned the first time at the house guest residency? Uh, it was amazing. What did it feel like? I can't like? wait what? to get scanned again. I I wish it was more of like a spread eagle 3D scan, but whatever. I mean, you can make it whatever you need it to be, right? So tell the audience <laughs> about the Matrix thing. Use my body. Oh, the Matrix thing. Oh, man. How would you describe it? I still need a screen grab of that. What's the Matrix thing? Oh, we put Coco in the Matrix. We 3D scanned her and then put the, you know, the numbers yeah, 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 yeah. in the background of the Matrix, which apparently is a sushi recipe. Now we just found out. Oh. That Matrix stuff in the also, background. Also, you had Neo in there. Yeah. It was like me and Neo were married. It was Coco <laughs> and Neo together <laughs> in the Matrix. Aww. It was really it was, beautiful. It was my engagement photo. That was, yeah, that was <laughs> one of the beautiful 3D scanning moment. Thank you, Coco. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Are you going to miss Dave, Coco? Yeah, Coco, I'm going to miss you. I'm in, de I'm in denial. Oh. But we're going to go to the UFO festival and... Yeah, you're going to come really out on the... taken this time. You're going to come out. We're going to have fun. You can stay at the hostel. It's going to be great. I'm into it. We're can it turn remote, itself though. off again? Yeah. Thank you so much for calling, Coco. No problem. Oh, also, Lord. DTF, look me up, House of Coco, Instagram. Bye-bye. <laughs> Love you. Bye. All right. So, man, I mean, 3D scanning is so... It's cool. It's crazy. It's well, really love. cool. A lot of love. LOL. <laughs> it's really exciting. I, I, it baffles me that I know someone who does 3D yeah. scanning at all. We're back. Like, it's so magical. And, ugh, I'm just going to keep calling things magical because that's how I feel about them. Uh, Do you guys hear something? Do you hear some... Do you guys hear something? Did you hear a weird sound? When I was out at that last place in Oregon City, I kept getting spooked because I was watching all these alien videos <laughs> at night by myself. And then Michael came. We watched them together. We were both still creeped out. <laughs> what is that? That's not you. That's, is that Dustin? No. What is that? I don't know. I'm hearing some weird sounds in here. Uh, why is it getting darker? What is happening? Are you guys okay? What is? I don't. I'm fine. What is happening? Dave. 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 All right. Dave. What? Oh.
<laughs> Hi. Welcome back to Portland Place today. <laughs> Dave is Sometimes we try stuff. Is gone. Oh. Sh are you okay? <laughs> Dave, Dave. You all right? Uh uh, you went away. Do you remember where you went? Yeah, I don't know. I looked at my watch and moose in a few minutes. Just a few minutes? My butt feels way more lubricated than it did earlier. That's an interesting adjective. How? You don't remember anything from the last few minutes? It's a little hazy, like a strong memory wipe. Okay. Huh. Is there anything you can pull from it? Flashes, images, uh, anything? Were you abducted? <gasps> I, don't, I don't know. I remember these flashing lights and then... The lights were flashing. They were flashing. Uh, they were both on move. and off. Mm -hmm. Very slow. Like a metallic taste kind of in my mouth. Oh. Hmm. Oh. And you're not sucking on any pennies? No pennies. No. No. Uh, do you feel like your brain was scanned? No, no. I, I, I was worried. I had a, a, some heart feelings from being worried about you. You, you just sort of froze. Froze and then disappeared. And then lights flickered on and off. Yeah. We don't know anything. we we would love to. <laughs> uh, I wish that we we. How, I, I, how, do, how I, are you feeling other than your butthole is super lubed? Yeah, what about the rest of your body? Yeah. Does it also uh, feel super lubed? Ears super lubed? Feet? Fingernails. Very I lubed? Mean, I, I'd probably do for the sauna at this point. What's all I, this? I could probably go for a hot bath. Yep. What's, what, what happened to your face? I mean, you tell me. I was just sitting here there's, and then... There's some red. Maybe we said the wrong thing. You know, we're broadcasting, right? What, yeah. what would be the wrong thing to where, say? Where are we broadcasting to, you know? Are we broadcasting? Channel 22. Are we broadcasting out to space? Twitch. Maybe. <laughs> if you're in space, give us give a us call. 503-288-4442. Uh, if you are, I'm going to suspect, the aliens that abducted Dave, Please call in. We would like an explanation. Yeah, we need some answers. Um, we care about Dave, and uh, you know, if you're gonna lubricate like part part of the body, I feel like you should just go whole body. Yeah, whole body. Whole body or nothing. Do you have any symbols burned into your skin, or maybe some tiny objects implanted? Uh, Is this a fire in the sky scenario? Yeah, I I have a printout somewhere. Let me think. You have a printout? Have a printout? Yeah. Printout? A printout of know. your abduction? Yeah. So, uh, Dustin's, it was on Dustin's got thing. some friends over there. Was it them? Was it them? There's a was piece it them? of paper somewhere that has the... Was it them? You have a cord. I do. Yeah. Was oh, it? Oh, he's just gonna... Where's Dave going? Oh. Oh, yeah, Michael has it. Was it these guys over here? What yeah, did these guys so... do to you? Huh? Whoa. Huh? Whoa. You hurting my friend? Here, give me the printout. Yeah. Huh? Can we get a close up of this? Oh, this is just this is just gibberish. <laughs> Can we? This is just I mean, this is the information they sent me to convey. I got him. Okay, come back over here. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? Can we get a zoom in? On yeah, this? what does this say? <laughs> what are you? Okay, reading it. there is chaos in the studio. What does it say? All because. Tell us what this says. Yeah. Tell her what it says. I mean, I can't read this I language. Can't read I can't read it either. Let me see. Um, ooh, ooh. Are you, is it telling you to go someplace? What? Wait. Let's, let's focus on it. I'm trying to, oh, okay, so we all pray? Derry. Put the, it? put the hand right here. And, ooh, oh, Miro, Airy, Dahi, Kafuel. Arxis. I don't think you should say too many of those. <laughs> Something about how we're fucking up the earth and that's what the chemtrails are all about. Ooh, chemtrails. Hey! I guess. Chemtrails! Do you have opinions chemtrails. about chemtrails? I guess that's, this, this is like the recipe to fix it. 
If anybody cares. This is the Wait, recipe to fix the You want to fix the atmosphere because it's screwed. You got to decipher this message. Do it for Dave. Somebody, please. Do it for Dave. Oh. Maybe we got a code breaker out there. Maybe you can decipher it. Anybody who's good with that kind of thing, please call in. 503-288-4442. We need that call. We need help. We need to fix the chemtrails. Shh. You smoke too much. Also, <laughs> anybody out there from the Berenstein Bears dimension? Anybody? Um, by Homeland, please give us a call. We would love to hear from you. Stacy? Stacy, you out there? Stacy? Who's Stacy? Stacy? I don't know. I'm part of an online support group, a uh, quantum mechanics support group. Mm -hmm. We try to bond with each other and cope with the fact that we're in the wrong dimension, the Berenstain dimension. That sounds really supportive. And uh, come to terms with that yeah. daily tr trauma How do you come of to terms? being stuck in the wrong dimension. Yeah, how do you come to terms with it? We don't do it very well. <laughs> um, Still figuring it out. Stacy's kid asked her, are we real? What'd she say? I don't know, I wish she would call, I forget. Mm. But I think children are wise enough. We have a call, a caller, Nerdletta calling in. Oh, great, that is a good one. Yeah, Nerdletta, on, welcome to the show. Welcome. Well, well, can you tell hi. us about Dave? Welcome, cyber friend. <laughs> hi. I don't have any, I don't have a question for you. Um, and I did not abduct you. I, I can't decode the message. But I do regret not meeting you in person for coffee so that we could talk about the superconducting super collider in Texas. I know. And this whole Berenstein thing, you know, I'm on your Berenstein team. That's right. Thank you for calling in from the Berenstein group. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I represent. We have to bond <laughs> together to survive the horrors yeah, I mean, of this Trump reality. We, we got to stick together because I don't know where, they're, where those D-E-A-R folks came from, but they're here. Yeah, I think it's always important to to put the uh, concern <laughs> in CERN. <laughs> and to, I mean, the, the letters CERN are actually in the word concern. And that's something people should really latch on to. Absolutely. They should be concerned about CERN. Number one. Yeah, you know, Number one. and this is this is where I really wanted to, to sit across from you with coffee and figure out if it was the Texas Superconductor Super Collider, they pulled the plug in 1993, or Very whether it was turned. We got to figure this out. We yeah. really do. We're on to something. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah, we still have time to meet up. I'll be uh, back in town for the UFO Festival, uh, 16th, 17th, 18th. Let's do it. Let's uh, do okay. it. We Thank gotta figure you. this out. And and I wish you well. I I, I just I, I love you. Thank you so much for calling. Making friends. All Thank right. you. Bye. Oh, well, that was a good one. Well, speaking of the fact that you're leaving, mm -hmm. uh, we have a video regarding your future. Oh, that's right. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna watch a little bit, get a little taste of what Dave's future. No, might be no, like. No, 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 we got another caller. Oh, we got oh, another, we got another caller. caller. Oh, okay. oh, wow. Who's our caller? Dave and Robert. Okay. Okay. Hello, Dave and Robert. Hello? Hello. Where are you? Uh, we're in, we're in Florida, Florida, Florida. Where are you guys? Hmm. You're in where? Southern Oregon. Where are you guys? You're in Southern Oregon? We're in Portland. Wait, is it Portland? Try going outside. <laughs> Portland. We can this barely another hear you. Bears thing. I apologize. Portland. Yeah, it's hard to hear you, caller. Thank you for calling. <laughs> we appreciate it. Uh, it's the sorry, thought. we sorry we're having some technical issues. It's the thought that counts. 
Uh, I think we should just go to see. Roll the clip. Yeah, to roll. Oh. 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 That was spooky. We're ready to show the clip when you are. All right, All right. let's All right. show this clip while we're spooked still. Historical right. narratives from the Iroquois Nation to the terminus of the Erie Canal and the westward expansion that emanated from their electrical power. <laughs> you walk through the neighborhoods and you see everything from Native American culture still evident here all the way up through the most modern kinds of colleges and universities and knowledge economy business. We always talk about the three great American architects, H.H. Uh, Richardson, Louis Sullivan. <laughs> single significant building that does not have a whole friends group. <laughs> the greatest landscape architect that this country has ever seen. And Buffalo has the most extensive homestead park system in the country that covers virtually every corner of the city. At a time where everywhere in America looks like anywhere in America, Buffalo has managed to embrace its place in history and to enhance... Something's gonna happen, right? The yards come inch by inch. The grass. We're not gonna see you nope. forever. I can Skype. <laughs> I'm well, hoping I can Skype in. in. But you're gonna continue your good work. 
yeah, I'm hoping to have my own show from there. So maybe people can Skype into my show. Maybe I can Skype into your show. Absolutely. Maybe we can still do something well, in cyberspace. We are going to miss you physically being here <laughs> yeah. and bringing the weird, wacky, and wonderful into our lives. I'm going to miss you guys, and I'm going to miss Portland Cable Access Television at Open Signal, <laughs> Portland Community Media Center. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm going to miss the most. Goodbye, everyone. Bye. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Callers. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Callers. Thank you, crew. Let's applaud like the plane is landing. <laughs>